These guys are awesome. So the concrete is in. Just been wiring my solar. Here they go again. See how they do. Tractor versus Mack truck. Sure is nice to have a tractor. Huh? You know what to do when you win stuff in your house. All right, so here these guys go. They're set up for an epic pull here. We got the wire spooled up on a piece of heavy wall pipe, locked to the trailer. Antonio's feeding got the wire. Got it! Abraham is making sure that the wire's not getting tangled on the way. We got the pipe set up to allow you to right. get a good angle. Got it! And we got somebody big tugging. And you don't try to pull it all at once. You just pull a little at a time. I'm sure all you electricians that are watching this are gonna argue and argue and argue with me. I mean, I'm doing it wrong. He's got it! Okay. But this is how we do it. And it consistently works. Did you enjoy pulling through all those 90s that you buried? I did. Did you get a good burn? I did get a good burn. <laughs> Scott thought he he was okay to bury. How many nineties was that? Thirteen. <laughs> you buried some nineties. Took a hard turn right here. Four more. So it's panel time here in Louisiana, and we're paneling. I'm not. I'm building the doing electrical again. Wait, I thought you were gonna show me the tool. Show Antonio. Show. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Antonio made something. Now, but Antonio, remember who told you what material to use? Don't forget about that. I told you the material. Antonio made a tool. And it's working really good. Just a little spacer jig. Big boss carrying panels. How you doing? That's a nice lift. Maybe do a twist on that. Do a nice loaded twist when you get it up above your head at yeah, the hips. Do that. Looking good. Look at that. It's dangerous. So we are paneling this thing. So today's goal is to get all the panels on the array. Get the array charging batteries by lunchtime, which we're heading towards it, and then um, get the PTO generator and all the functional testing done. So here we are, spinning around. Looking good, guys. Abraham! All right, folks, so the glass is racked. The lone engineer walks with his rake. We got the panels up. It is lunchtime on day three. Abraham. We're moving into the house to start the solar arc and start got a little bit more work to do. Smart. And there's our array, our wiring. The array is totally wired. Got the IMO disconnects. Nice. Hold on, start over. Go ahead. Okay, this is a really nice cord. This is a type of non-suicide cord you want to have. Real generator inputs. Have a nice twist lock. Now it is dark out here, so it's hard to see, but it's a nice twist lock plug, okay? This is a little overkill, but it's a six AWG wire, it's heavy just, duty generator so cord. cord yeah. It's awesome. And that's a, uh, that's a generator inlet to a manual transfer switch. This is the manual transfer switch. Did you want me to open that? Or? Yeah, just oh. to show it to him. This is a 200 amp manual transfer switch. It's on the main lug. The electrician out here came and installed this for us. But basically, you can switch between grid power, which is on the top, and power from the generator, which is being fed from the bottom through that little piece of uh, 
liquid tight. That's his transfer switch. So he's able to run his whole house off his PTO generator. And the Solark will take that power and charge batteries. Or he can run or, or he, he can, can run about, just his critical load panel. He can do about 10 kW with this. This and is this a 16 tractor. kW, but this is a little baby. He has an 80 horsepower tractor where he can get all the power out of this he wants, but 1,000 watts. But still charges the battery great. Did you want to like turn me to start it up? This is the auto voltage regulations. You see the lights coming on. And then what you're looking for is green on all of them. Now this is something that is uh, not something I'm telling you to do, but this is the seat controller on a John Deere tractor. So we just made a little jumper. So that typically is going to go in there and then when you push on the seat, it closes that little switch. So all you got to do to disable it, Put this in make a little box. jumper and then you can run a tractor. Very We're dangerous, so, but you don't, I don't advise you do that. But, but in some situations, you do need to be able to run the tractor PTO without being on the tractor.